Today I'm going to be filming a workout video. I'm nervous because filming in gyms just makes me super uncomfortable. So I'm going to my friend's apartment gym and I really hope there's not a lot of people there so I can show you guys a workout that I'm just gonna make it up on the go and I'm gonna film it. I usually go to CrossFit. I'm going to kind of do similar workouts that I would be doing at CrossFit just to show you guys. I am nervous. <laughs> so let's go. First of all, this is what I have been drinking before my workout. I have them linked on my Amazon storefront. They're the BCA um, Celsius drinks. They only have 100 milligram caffeine instead of 200. I don't know. I just, I like them. So this is our little pre-workout. Let's hit the road. I wanted to just kind of describe like the layout of this workout that I did slash each section, if that makes sense. So first of all, I start off with a tread. Actually, first of all, stretch, stretch, stretch. You gotta stretch your body before you work out. And I have learned that the hard way. That's not something I've always done, but it's something that I'm trying to be better about. Stretch, I jump on the treadmill usually if I'm at a gym like that and I kind of just warm my body up. 30 something minutes, I'm walking slash running, a little interval pace. I'm not really a fast runner. In the beginning, you can see that I did five minutes walking to warm up and then I ran for like 15, 20 minutes on seven speed and then I went back to walking for about five to 10 minutes and then I ran again for like 10 minutes. That got three miles, um, I think, yeah. Walked down a little bit to cool down, made sure to like stretch out my calves and whatnot. And then this is when I got into the actual workout, which the running was actually really hard. That was probably the hardest part. The actual workout I did for you guys was three different circuits. It was an arm circuit, a leg circuit, and an ab circuit. I don't believe that ab workouts will provide you abs. Um, there's definitely moves that you can help strengthen your core, but I don't think that, like I'm not, what, I, what I'm trying to say is the ab circuit that I do for y'all is just a good way to move your body. I'm not promising that these are gonna be amazing results. That's where I just don't want you guys to get me wrong. Anyways, I did these circuits so it can give you guys kind of an idea of some movements that you can add into your workout routine. So the arm circuit, you could do two to three rounds. Leg circuit, two to three rounds. Abs, two to three rounds, depending on what you want to do that day. Today, I just all one round for each circuit just to show you guys different things that you can do. But yeah, that's basically it. I will show you guys now the video that I recorded in the gym and... I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, again, like I said, it was very uncomfortable for me to film, but I want to do this for you guys. So if you like the video, make sure to like and comment and please subscribe. Anyways, on to the video. Let's see how crazy this footage is. All right, I've never done a voice recording over my YouTube videos, but let's see how this goes. So first of all, you obviously gotta stretch your body. I kind of just, do some stuff I've learned from cheer over the years. Um, is this correct? I do not know. There's definitely YouTube videos that are going to be better about stretching than I am. Um, I just kind of recorded what I like to do. I stretch out the quads, roll my ankles out a little bit because those babies are literally chicken ankles. And I already started sweating, so sweatshirt goes off. And yeah, just a little back stretch. I really do like to warm up my hips because they are really bad. Any stretching is good stretching. So as long as you're warming up before you work out, you're all good. All right, let's get after it. I head on the tread and do just like an indoor run slash walk. I walk for five minutes on 3.5, just 0.5 incline because honestly incline hurts my shins. After five minutes of walking, I turn the speed up to like seven and run for as long as I can. It ended up being like 15 minutes today, which I was proud of. And also, please, why do I sweat so much? I like to walk on the tread, honestly, because I can kind of multitask and get some work done, get some emails, editing, whatever I need to do that day. I walked for like 10 minutes and now I'm just gonna run again for 
a few more minutes just to get the heart rate up and get to three miles. All right, and we're done. Not too bad, not too bad. Whew. All right. <laughs> you guys are back like sitting here. Crazy. I haven't really ran on a tread in so long and I forgot how good it feels. Like 10 minute miles, it's, I'm not like bashing myself. It's amazing I can move my body, but it's not like crazy. I walked for probably half of it. And when I walk, I'll like get work done, emails, editing, all that, which is really nice. So if you have like emails to do, this is a, just walking. His okay, I also wrote down everything I did. So at the end of this video, I will share the screenshot of it. Okay, so the first circuit I'm gonna show you guys is the ab circuit. Again, I am no pro whatsoever. These are just some moves that I like to do. First, you're gonna start off a minute plank. This can seem like 10 minutes, I'm not gonna lie, you will shake. The most important thing that you can do during a plank is making sure your shoulders, hips, and ankles are all in line, keeping your back flat as possible. Try to suck your belly button in towards your spine. Focusing on drawing your belly button back during any of these ab movements is probably the most important thing I've ever learned. Doing that supports your lower back and also just overall helps strengthen your core. Next movement, you're gonna do 30 of the Russian twist. You can grab a weight or you can do no weight. You can lift your legs up, you can leave them on the ground. Bunch of different moderations here. Wow, I sound like a trainer. Maybe I should like pick up this as a side hustle. Next move is the dead bug. Basically, you're gonna do 20, 10 on each side, opposite leg, opposite arm, go down at the same time while sucking your belly button into the ground. Slow and control is the key to ab exercises. Next, we're gonna do these plank hip dips. These honestly kill your obliques in such a killer workout. Next are these... <laughs> Why do I look like that? This is just a hollow hold. Um, I used to do these in cheerleading all the time and these kill. Bring your arms in, bring your legs in, whatever feels comfortable for you. You're just gonna hold that for 30 seconds and then you're gonna go straight into these mm, split toe touches, I guess. I don't really know what their name is, but those also kill. Next, I'm gonna be doing these 20, Again, you guys, I'm just gonna have to make up names. Leg drop downs, and yes, you take breaks, okay? We are not some hardcore galley, okay? We're gonna take breaks and breathe. Just focus on keeping your core tight. Make sure your back does not leave the ground. You will hurt your back if you do. Just a quick little stretch, stretch out the abs, whatever you need to do before we get into the next circuit, which is the leg circuit. Quickly realizing that this first move I do is both legs and arms and abs but it's fine, you know? Okay, we're gonna do 20 thrusters. These are a killer. I grab two 10 pound dumbbells and you just shoot them over your head, squat down with them, push up, squeeze your abs at the top. Also, you guys, I'm telling you, it was uncomfortable when filming, but that does not stop me. We're gonna go straight into 20 goblet squats. Take a kettlebell or any kind of weight, or you can do just normal air squats, 20 of these. Make sure your weight is in your heels and you're going as low as you can. All right, next up, we're gonna grab one dumbbell. I grabbed a 10 pound one, and we're gonna do these reverse lunges with a little arm lift at the end. These are honestly a really good ab workout. You might not think it, but if you're squeezing every muscle in your body, this is a killer. Also, 10 on one side, 10 on the other, and you are good. Also, so normal to lose your balance here. After those 20 reverse lunges, 10 on each side, we're gonna go straight into 20 pulses on each side. Majority of your weight should be in your front leg. You should be feeling it in your glue on the leg that you're standing on. Right after the pulses, we're gonna go straight into 20 curtsy lunges. Cross your leg over, do a little lunge. You should be feeling this in your glutes. Now we're gonna grab just a little bit of a heavier weight for the next move, which is deadlifts. Deadlifts can be dangerous if you're not doing the correct form. So if you do not know, I would watch a video on how to do it. I can try to show you as well as I can, but professionals will definitely be able to point you in the right direction. You're going to hinge at the hips, lower down with the weight, keep your chest up, and you should be feeling this in your inner glute, slash like all the way down to your hamstrings. At the top of the deadlift, you should be squeezing your butt so hard, squeezing your abs, everything. 
Next up, we're gonna do these little donkey kicks. <laughs> you're gonna do a 10 on each side. Slow and controlled movements always win. Here, you just wanna make sure your back is flat and you are still sucking in your belly button to your spine. Now we're gonna do about 20 fire hydrants, 10 on each side. Same thing, keeping your back flat and sucking your stomach in. And when I say suck your stomach in, I'm not talking about like showing your ribs suck in. I'm saying embrace your core, engage it, make sure your belly button is trying to push towards your spine. And last but not least, I'm gonna show you guys a quick little arm circuit that I love. Working out your arms is not supposed to be scary. I'm going to make this super simple and super easy for you guys. If you're going to a, like a real gym and sometimes those can be intimidating, all you have to do is grab one set of weights. Starting off strong with 10 bicep curls. I grab two 10 pound weights and make sure you're going all the way down and all the way up to your shoulders while squeezing your bicep. Next up, we're gonna go straight into hammer head curls. That's just like fully a shark. I don't know if I'm saying that right but make sure you're not swinging here. It kind of looks like I'm swinging here and I'm kind of regretting this, but just try to focus on really squeezing your abs and pulling up. That's the only difference between bicep curls and those are your hands are facing each other. Then we're gonna do 20 shoulder presses. This is the exact movement that you did for the thrusters, but just without the squat. Next, we're gonna do 20 of these reverse flies. Most important thing about doing these is making sure you're squeezing your shoulder blades at the back when your arms are raised. Right after those, we're gonna go straight into just bent over rows. Again, make sure you're squeezing your back and your shoulder blades at the top. And we're gonna do about 15 of those. Next move are for your triceps. These are just tricep extensions. And just a reminder that you can do whatever weight you wanna do for any of these movements. And I just want to also say I'm not a professional, okay? Last but not least, the last move I'm going to show you guys today is these plank dumbbell rows. Same form as a plank, making sure your back is flat, stomach is sucked in, and you basically just take one weight at a time and alternate and lift them up. And that's it, you guys. Make sure you wipe down everything you touch because gross germs. And stretch after stretch is so important. That's the most important thing you can do for your body. And I'm slowly learning that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, let me know. Comment below. Um, I love you guys.